This is FBI Breaking News. Hello. The Department of Basic Education have confirmed they will be implementing Comprehensive Sexuality Education, or CSE, in South Africa's public schools in 2020. Comprehensive Sexuality Education is not traditional sex education. It is sexual indoctrination devised by the International Planned Parenthood Federation of America, who is the U.S. largest abortion provider. CSE teaches children to experiment with high-risk sexual practices and attempts to change the sexual and gender norms of society. Alarmingly, government will implement CSE in South Africa's public schools without the knowledge and consent of parents. This is a clear violation of the rights and authority of parents to determine the quality and value of their own children's education. We need your help to demand that government scrap CSE in South Africa and replace it with education that reinforces the values and the norms of South African society. Family Policy Institute, in partnership with global CSE experts Family Watch International and the UN Family Rights Caucus, has drafted an online letter to the Minister of Basic Education outlining seven critical reasons why CSE must not be implemented in South Africa's schools. Here are the reasons. CSE runs counter to South African cultural values. Number two, rolling out CSE without prior parental involvement, guidance and approval violates well-established parental rights. Three, UNFPA and Sweden, among other UN agencies and foreign governments, are driving the CSE agenda in South Africa. Four, CSE programs, including those promoted by UN agencies and Sweden, take a controversial rights-based rather than health-based approach to sex education, emphasizing sexual rights over sexual health. Five, South Africa signing on to the Ministerial Commitment on Comprehensive Sexuality Education and Sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights for Adolescents and Young People on Eastern and Southern Africa, ESA, was done without proper consultation with the appropriate branches of government and without proper regard for the rights of parents to direct their children's education. Six, the National Adolescent Sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights Framework Strategy also violates the rights of parents who were not consulted and reflects a UN and Western governmental sexual rights rather than sexual health approach. Seven, most importantly, the research UN agencies use to claim CSE is effective and will prevent teen pregnancies and STDs, including HIV, and that abstinence education is ineffective, has recently been thoroughly discredited in a global study. Please go to the Protect Children South Africa Coalition link now and sign the online letter to the Minister of Basic Education. You can also join the Protect Children South Africa Coalition by adding your individual name or your organization's name as members. I will personally deliver the online letter with the signatures to the Minister of Basic Education at the end of November 2019. Please sign the online letter today so our combined voices will be heard loudly in government. Please sign the letter today. <laughs> <laughs>